ओके प्रोसीड विथ योर प्रोजेक्ट ऑटोमेटिक वेस्ट सेग्रीगेशन यस सर आवर प्रोजेक्ट नेम इज ऑटोमेटिक वेस्ट सेग्रीगेशन सिस्टम इन दिस वी हैव कैटेगराइज्ड फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ वेस्ट दे आर ड्राई वेट रिसाइक्लेबल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड मेडिकल वेस्ट आवर गाइड इज डॉक्टर ए राधिका मैम coming to our abstract waste segregation and management is a really essential task in today's world we should maintain a safe clean and waste free surroundings everywhere and due to covid 19 even the waste is rapidly increasing and becoming very dangerous the waste which is littered in the atmosphere or discarded on open land becomes a very dangerous issue for causing disease bacteria this is causing bacteria and viruses it is not at all a good thing to mix all different forms of waste coming to our categories if you mix various kind of waste like dry wet recyclable electronic and medical you you get decomposed it in low lands and hazardous greenhouse gases are released so in order to lead a healthy lifestyle we shouldn't mix all the kinds of waste and hence we have designed this waste segregation system objectives will be explained by babu rao okay i'll proceed with the objectives here our main objective is to build an efficient waste segregation system which will automatically segregate all the types of waste so we made our model to be very lightweight and faster with a very good accuracy because in order to deploy it in very low powered computational devices you can also deploy it in mobile applications as well so we have three following tasks which is the first one is object detection for example there is a table and a small glass on that so we know we should only detect the glass part so it will the second step is to crop until uh, the glass part and the third step is to predict which item is it uh, it is a glass with a label and the confidence score is displayed so by following the above three steps we, we can segregate the objects into their respective classes this model is best used in places where humans cannot enter and are not allowed so coming to the literature survey part kavya will explain it uh, here we are taking it four papers first paper is about design fabrication and analysis of fully automatic uh, solid waste segregation uh, it consists of the three stages in first phase ferrometallic waste is uh, removed by the electronic magnet in second uh, in second phase uh, the initial lightweight particles are removed by using the principle of the blowing a and in third phase uh, here we are going to separate the uh, why uh, heavy waste particles from the lightweight particle particles uh, they for that they are using the centrifugal force and uh, coming to the next paper automated uh, waste segregation system using the machine learning here they are uh, they are taking the waste from the industrial uh, level for that they are uh, they are wanted to sort their uh, uh, waste is uh, using the uh, rotate uh, large rotating dumps uh, uh, for that they are using the cnn algorithm and uh, stm uh, classifier uh, uh, for so that they can uh, segregate the waste is and coming to the uh, third literature paper automatic waste segregator and uh, monitoring system here uh, they wanted to categorize the waste into the uh, t uh, sorry three categories first one is metallic and next next one is organic and uh, next one is the plastic uh, uh, they use the uh, ultrasonic uh, sensors uh, to monitor the waste uh, if the sensors gives a uh, message here to the uh, controller then the controller uh, will uh, indicate uh, the in, uh, i mean uh, indication will give the indication to the uh, driver of the garbage then the uh, by using the uh, 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 gms technology uh, Uh, in the in the form of sms uh, coming to the fourth literature survey paper automatic waste uh, uh, sorting uh, based on the image processing here uh, they are uh, they are using the artificial neural networks for that they are using the uh, conveyor uh, whatever the images uh, uh, um, so go to your uh, actual command you go uh, to your no need to discuss all these uh, literature surveys Okay, so yeah. coming to the data set part, Nazir will explain. Actually, we have taken garbage as data set, uh, which is named as garbage classification, which consists of six classes: cardboard, glass, metal, paper, plastic, and trash. So next, we have taken our own custom data set. The data set named as a waste classification, which consists of five classes: dry, spoon, wet, mango, recycle, and glass. So electronic and medical waste is will also be added, which includes phone and mask. 
so this is the kaggle data set so in this we have select collected a cardboard glass metal paper plastic and trash so next our custom data set we have collected as our own for a better prediction and for better accuracy so in this glass mango mask phone and spoon so the reason why we have taken our custom created data set is for kaggle data set we didn't get a good accuracy and we didn't uh, get a good result for that so that is the reason why we have taken the custom data set the technologies used are convolution neural networks why we have taken the uh, convolution neural network because it is the best in object, de object detection and the classification of images also for that reason we are using the convolution neural networks next we are using the uh, computer vision library uh, this was uh, this one is a simple high level and easy to use and it is a open source uh, for the uh, uh, in uh, in python also uh, for that uh, reason we are just using this and next we are using the image of free time weights uh, why we are using this because uh, we are just uh, we are just uh, wait uh, we are just waited the uh, we are just taken the images of uh, uh, without any i, I mean uh, without any di uh, physical dimensions for that reason we are just using this uh, for that uh, so that it can uh, it can uh, weighted uh, according to that uh, uh, weight uh in the same manner and next one is the mobile net v2 uh it it one this is uh, used uh, this is uh, we, uh, well performed in the mobile devices and it is low consumption of the power so that it uh, improves the performance of the model for that reason we are just using next one architecture is uh, explained by krishna coming to the architecture cnn architecture consists of five layers which is input convolutional pooling fully connected and output layer the first layer in input layer it will read the input in the form of images or whatever the format you give second one is convolution layer it will extract the various features consisting from the input images and filter them into a particular size of m into m like uh, 256 into 256 So the third one is pooling layer. In it, it will decrease the size of convolved features, uh, features to reduce the computational cost. Uh, fully connected layer. And this layer is used to connect the neurons between two different layers, and it will place the output uh, before the output layer. The final is the output layer. It will provide the required output after following all these steps. Coming to the mobile net V2 layer, it consists of two blocks, which is stripe one and stripe two. The first one is used for residual block and the second one is used for downsizing. In this there are three layers. The first one is 1 into 1 What are your output screens? Show me the output screens. So these two are the best results we got uh, with uh, dry waste of spoon uh, confidence score of 99% and mask which is a medical waste of 98%. and we have also compared four types of models which is resnet vgg16 inception v3 and mobile net v2 and uh, we have also got the outputs for wet waste mango for recyclable waste uh, glass for as an electronic waste and we need to so choose this project because uh, in today's world waste is littered everywhere sir as we can see uh, beside the roads or even after the uh, even in the houses so we cannot bear that smell or always humans cannot go and collect the waste manually and they cannot segregate each and every type of waste so the places where humans cannot enter the machines can enter and segregate automatically into the categories and due to that we can even reduce the greenhouse effect also so the environment is maintained and even a good health can be provided to all the people can you define the pooling layer yes sir what is pooling layer the pooling layer uh, it will decrease the size of the convolved features uh, in order to reduce the computational cost okay you can shut down your uh, project and uh, we'll go with the next project thank you sir